as you help us pick Canada's champions of change. This is stupid. Yes. Because I could just strangle this person in the first minute that I meet her. He's a Canadian helping girls in the Philippines learn tough lessons. Jorge de Guzman's story and his advocate Mary Walsh coming up next. All right, well, because it's Monday, it means we are going to introduce you to two more finalists tonight in our search for Canada's Champions of Change. It's now up to you to cast your vote for the country's two top volunteers. And tonight, Mary Walsh is here to make the case for two volunteers in the social justice category. I'm Mark Delahunty. I'm down here in the States trying to get to talk to the thriller from Wazilla. The Alaskan Aphrodite. I've been chasing her all day, Sarah Palin. Miss Palin, we came up all the way from Canada. I just wanted to ask you if you had any words of encouragement for the Canadian Conservatives who have worked so hard to try to diminish that kind of socialized medicine we have up there. Any words of encouragement at all, Miss Palin? Wow, tough crowd. That's uh, Walsh ambushing Sarah Palin on this hour's 22 minutes. She's been entertaining Canadians for decades with comic, <laughs> comic roots stretching back to the theater group Codco. She's an actor, writer, director, actively involved with Oxfam and the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. And as you can hear, she's joining me here, Mary. <laughs> wonderful to see you here. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mark. It's wonderful to be here. <laughs> um, social justice and, uh, you know... To have hair after all the decades <laughs> I've been working. Go ahead. <laughs> Is this, this, this idea that social justice, it's, it, we're paying tribute to people who care for those that a lot of people don't care for. I mean, why is this important to you? Uh, well, uh, you know, pre presently, the gap is between the rich and the poor is widening, and we don't seem to be paying any attention to it. And the people at the bottom are suffering more and more, and we seem to turn our faces away from them. I mean, we don't see them on TV. You know, um, uh, we, uh, you know, we call unemployment insurance, employment insurance now. You don't need it when you're employed. You can't get it when you're unemployed. You know, there seems to be a great movement away from recognizing that many, many people in this country are suffering. And, and we like to think, we like to think as yeah. Canadians, that we do care about those in need. And then I think that brings us to, to our two um, finalists tonight. People who say, we want to help those who don't have a voice. We want to help uh, empower some people. Here's the story of uh, Jorge de Guzman. He's from uh, Sarnia, Ontario. He goes overseas to make a difference over there. Let's, let's pick up with him. Several years ago, I met a 12-year-old prostitute who died from internal injuries because a couple of clients from the West had abused her. And I told myself that that won't happen in my watch. district where you have bars, uh, strip joints, karaoke bars, massage parlors, and many of the young girls ended up working here. Many times uh, these men come from halfway across the world to engage in sex with children. These are children. They're so polite not to say no, even to the point of abuse. It hurts. It really, it really, it hurts. These girls need protecting. Ha! About 20 to 30 days into a year, I go to remote areas where I run seminar for young girls to prevent them from being abused and exploited. I teach them physically how to defend themselves and at the same time give them a little empowerment so that they won't get abused.
Thank you. Just go over there. Thank you. You start telling them that they are the best girls, the kindest girls, the most beautiful girls. But we tell them that they are sometimes stupid girls. Hello, Marjorie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. All right. Don't you think this is stupid? No. This is stupid. Yes. Because I could just strangle this person in the first minute that I meet her. This is a street, street proven punch. Uh, anyone could do this as long as they know where to hit. The left hand straightens to the bridge of the nose. Ready? Punch! 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 Nagtunan ko eh, protektahan yung sarili ko sa sa maaring kapahama ko. Halimbawa, yung... Pag nag-kiss ang pag mag-boyfriend tas hindi mo gusto. When I go to the Philippines, I always think of my family, my daughters especially, because I see my daughters in the people that I'm working with. My two daughters are now senseis, teachers of martial arts. The reason why they became black belts is they could not date the guys that they like unless they come to my class. I see my daughters taking over from me. I have paved the, the path that they could follow. I really don't know why I do what I do. I just know when I come home, I have to go back there. <laughs> I think it's unjust. We have not done enough to protect the children. To protect the children that will be our future generation. They don't have the power nor the energy. No more. Say it. No more. To say no. Period. No more. No more! No more! No more! No more! No more! A couple things I like about uh, Jorge's story is uh, he doesn't take the, uh, the, the opinion that not my problem, that's happening over there. We're gonna leave it for someone else, he's going over there. And I tell you, just looking at that shot, I've seen these girls, these tiny girls, Balling up their fists is a symbol of something that they can stand on their own two feet. What do you, what do you like about his story? I, I like it because the same thing, that, that uh, he's faced with uh, this uh, horrendous uh, injustice, and instead of saying, well, what can I do? I can't do anything. I'm a martial arts teacher. He goes, I can teach those girls, those helpless girls, those girls who have learned helplessness. Traditionally, in many traditional societies, women are taught to be obedient. Mm -hmm. Women are taught to be passive. And he tries to turn that around against all odds, really, you know, against tradition, against their family, against their schooling, against all odds, you know. And, uh, and, and in many Asian countries, you know, they're, they're it's 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 overlooked that that children that girls are, are being used that way and so he has no support at all he's one small guy from Sarnia uh, saying well I'm gonna make a difference and uh, and going uh, doing that every year bringing other people with him teaching his daughters teaching the the women the I everybody keeps calling them women, women they're girls but they're girls is yeah. what they are yeah, and, I, and I really you mentioned his, his daughters too and that's where uh, you can really understand his motivation when you see him there with his daughters you know that he doesn't want his daughters to be treated that way he's treating strangers with that that same sort of uh, but you know one one thing you could think you could think well it's it's an economic problem you know there needs to be nobody would sell their child into sexual slavery right. if they had an option right and there obviously aren't options and you could get yourself you could just lie down and die and think that so it's really inspiring to see him move forward to say well I can't do anything about that and I can't do anything about that but I here's something that. I can do something about. That's pretty amazing. That's amazing. Okay, well, coming up after the break, we're going to meet Gladys Raddick and hear about the work she's doing for missing women here in Canada. Stay with us.
From CBC News and Outpost Magazine, Canada's champions of change. My name is Jorge de Guzman. I teach self-defense to girls in the Philippines. Ah, that's good. In the Philippines, there is a big risk of young girls being recruited into the lucrative sex trade. I told myself that that won't happen in my watch. The top 10 have been revealed. Now it's time for you to vote for Canada's top volunteer. Hunt! Vote for your champion of change. 10 champions to choose from, two winners. $50,000. It's up to you to decide who wins. Vote for me. Go to cbc.ca slash change and vote for your champion of change. No more! No more! Canada's Champions of Change is proudly presented by Manulife Financial for your future.